In this video, we are going to understand how to create HubSpot contacts from new Gravity Forms submission. Now, we know that Gravity Forms is a plugin of WordPress and here we want every time a new response is received, so we ha you have received some information of the user. Now, with the information received, you want to create a contact in your HubSpot, which is a CRM. So, how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So, here your trigger application will be Gravity Forms and your action application will be HubSpot. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page. So, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. If you are a new user, you can sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes. Now, as I sign in here, we have reached all applications page. So, these are the various products of Pabli and we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. As we do that, we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? That every time there's a new submission through Gravity Forms, then with the information received, I should be able to create a contact in HubSpot CRM. So I'm going to name it as create HubSpot contacts from new Gravity Forms submissions. Let's click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be gravity forms. So let's click on this. And what would be the trigger event? So the trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it would be new response. Now we know that Gravity Forms is a premium WordPress plugin that lets you create forms to place on your website. So here it is also given that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data, which means this is not polling based. So the moment we will receive a response, then the workflow is going to trigger. And now you can see that we have received a webhook URL here, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Gravity Forms. Now, what we have to do is, first of all, I am going to take you to my WooCommerce account. And here we have got the Gravity Forms. Let's go to Forms. So you can see these are the various forms that I've created. And I've created a particular form, which is contact form. Now, before we go ahead to set up an integration between Pabli Connect and Gravity Forms, we have to go to add-ons here. You can see it here on the left hand side panel. So as I click on this, here is a particular add-on that we are supposed to download. So let me show you which one it is. And yes, here you can see webhooks add-on. So please make sure that you have activated it. And then once you have done that, so what you have to do is you have to go back to the forms. And now I'm going to open the form that I've created. You have to go to settings. Then as I take you down here, you can see webhooks. Let's click on this. So now there are already a few webhooks. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create these existing webhooks so that I can explain everything to you from the scratch. Okay, so I'm going to apply now. What we are going to do is we are going to click on add new. And now a new webhook is going to be created. First of all, we have to give it a name. So let's say it is a dummy webhook. Now this URL that we have just received, I'm going to copy this. And then here I'm going to paste the same. Then the request method has to be post and request format has to be JSON. As I take you down, so we are just going to leave this blank. Request body, all fields. And now I'm going to click on save settings. The same instructions are also given here on this hyperlink. So you can also check out the same here. So once the webhook has been set, what it is asking me to do is, it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response, which basically means that I am supposed to fill up the form so let me take you back to gravity forms and here is the contact form so let me show you the form so here we have the following fields first name last name email address confirm email phone number city and gender if you wish you can add a lot more details so these are the standard fields so you can use these fields and then you can create a form of your own 
so once the entire form has been created click on preview and now i'm going to fill up this information let's say the name here is new dummy then we have the email address which is new dummy at pablitudes.com and then we have to enter the same thing again new dummy at pablitudes.com then we have the phone number so let's say this here is the phone number then we have the city so it's a random city what is the gender let's say it is male i'm going to click on submit and as i do that here our submission has been completed taking you back to public connect and yes you can see we have received the response so here first of all we have the gender phone number this here is the city email address then again as i take you down so you can see this is the date of creation this here is the first name and the last name now once i have received this information with this i want to create a contact in hubspot crm the action application here will be hubspot crm and what would be the action event to create a contact let's click on connect so here public connect is asking to connect itself with the hubspot crm account i already have logged into my hubspot crm now i'm going to click on add new connection connect with hubspot crm and you can see that public connect is asking to connect itself with hubspot first of all we have to choose the account with which we are going to operate and once done you can see that the authorization has been successful which basically means that pably connect and hubspot crm are now connected now i'm going to take you down and we have to fill in this information so let's start with the first name here so i'm going to fill up the first name how am i going to fill up this information so as i click on this you can see the previous step and then as i take you down so this here is the first name now the method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration because had i written the same thing manually then even when my workflow was running for the nth time it would have taken the same data now so the last name here this let me take you down and dummy okay then as we take you down here we have to enter the email address so this here is the email address then we have to enter the phone number and this here is the phone number then again city so here is the name of the city now once i have added this information i'm going to simply click on save and send test request and yes you can see here we have received the response according to which now a contact must be created in hubspot so let me take you to hubspot contacts i'm going to refresh this and yes you can see new dummy so this particular contact has been created so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you once again to gravity and gravity forms here we are going to click on preview and this time i'm going to add another name let's say the first name here is test then the last name is user2 here we have the email address which is test user at pablitudes.com i'm going to write the same thing once again pablitudes.com and then we have the phone number then the city and what's the gender let's say it is female this time let's click on submit and here we can see that the form has been successfully submitted now what should happen automatically this contact should be created so now i'm going to take you to hubspot let's quickly refresh this page and yes you can see another contact has been created so this means that our integration process is a complete success taking you back to public connect let's understand what we have done so this is an extremely easy two step integration process where the trigger application is gravity forms and the event is new response then our action application is hubspot crm and the event is to create a contact so i hope that you are absolutely through with this if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. 
If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.